Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This week, we're continuing the list of the best arguments I've ever heard for atheism, with Argument 4, the diversity of religions. Premise 1. There are many religions in the world, and many that once existed, but have since faded away. Certainly, they contradict each other, and only one of them, at most, can be true. Premise 2. The faith of believers in their religion is equally strong no matter which religion you appeal to, including the ancient ones often classified as mythologies. Premise 3. The devotion and attitude of piety to one's god or gods is equally strong, no matter which religion you appeal to. Conclusion. Therefore, all religions are equally well supported, and since it's not possible for all of them to be true, it's safest to conclude that none of them are, and that God doesn't exist. There are really quite a number of reasons why this argument fails. First, I think you'd have a very hard time proving the second and third premises. How do you measure the faith of a community of believers? How do you chart the devotion or piety of the adherents of various religions, some of whom have been dead for thousands of years? There's just no way to prove that either of these premises are necessarily true. But even if they were true, the conclusion doesn't follow deductively from the premises. In order to arrive at the conclusion, you need to add a fourth premise. Premise 4. All religions are equally well supported by scientific fact, deductive and inductive logic, experiential proofs, and mathematics. You can't use that for proof, though, because it isn't even close to being true. As I've said before, pantheism is impossible because things aren't what they aren't, and certain forms of pantheism are still perfectly alive today. This proves that some religions can inspire tremendous faith, devotion, and piety, and still be provably false in many ways. I agree that it's not logically possible for all religions to be true, that even atheism is more likely than that, but so what? That's a straw man argument. I don't know anybody who thinks all religions are true. If you want to prove that atheism is true, you either need to disprove each individual religion on the merit of its own unique claims, or provide convincing proof for atheism itself. And this argument just doesn't do that. Because there are so many weaknesses in this argument, it doesn't really present a serious challenge to the proof for God's existence. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.